Welcome to In The Know and Black Girl Podcast. Enter the chat, a special video series that looks inside the thoughts that go on in our group chat. This is the first episode live from our living room. So yeah. we should start by introducing ourselves to you out there. I'm Scotty Bean, a media personality and a music connoisseur. I do say so myself. Go ahead, Gigi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gia Peppers, on your talent entertainment journalist, um, and super excited to be here. I am Safira M, a creative entrepreneur and content strategist, and I am super excited to be here too. I am Bex, a freelance videographer, director, and super happy to be here today. And I'm Alicia P, cinematographer, producer, and one fifth of Black Girl Podcast. Y'all, we have a video series. We do. Because the people have been asking, and now we are here, hello, live and in color. So we're going to, like you said, Diani, going to be bringing the conversation onto our screens, onto their screens. And we're just going to be having organic conversation like we do with some really amazing talent and guests. I'm so excited. I know y'all are really excited to have some of the people come on and we get to finally have conversation with even one of our listeners. So that is something that they have been asking for that we had to make sure we did here and we are doing it. Absolutely. And I think one of the dopest parts about this new partnership or this new video series is that you get to just see a bit of what we talk about. Y'all know our episodes go on for years, uh, rec regularly on our podcast. And here we get to give you just as much of us, our personalities with some real topics that we thought were really important for everyone to hear. We'll have financial talk, we'll have wellness talk. Y'all know we'll have spiritual talks. Um, but we really just wanted to make sure that we gave y'all some good tidbits yes, that you could share on the internet. Huh? <laughs> share it with your friends. <laughs> and it's just going to be like you're just in the chat with us because, I mean, we might as well tell them that's basically how this podcast started to begin with, a group chat. So we were all working at the MS Communications and we were in the digital department in our own group chat, a girl group chat. Now this was like, five years ago at this point. So Jesus. Oh times God. was a little younger oh, and wow, things wow. were a little crazier. <laughs> we were always talking about relationships, always talking about getting money, obviously, because we were at a job. And then one day, hmm, my ex came up and the girls got <laughs> on me about it. And of course, we're standing in the middle of Hot 97 at this point. And who's standing right there capturing this whole little wasn't a girl fight, but you know when your girls is getting on on you. Ebro Darden. So he's like, this should be black girl, a black girl podcast. This is what a black girl podcast would look like. And did we sit on it for a couple of weeks? Yes. Until <laughs> we finally recorded and here we are. I mean, there's been so much that's happened since, but I'm sure we'll get into that later. But Safira, I say this every time you tell the story, we have to give you credit because you were the backbone to make sure that we got into that studio, quietly into the studio, while on work hours, sorry, MS, <laughs> to record a test <laughs> episode to, um, to get the Black Girl Podcast happen. So thank you for putting the battery in our back. You are the backbone, sis. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you to everybody who's been listening to us for what, three years strong now? Four years. Four years strong now. Four. Four babies. We just four turned four. four. Right. I, People always say that they feel like the sixth member. So yeah. luckily now oh. you get, you know, a good visual. And also like, I think people miss out on the facial expressions because we have many. We are very expressive people. I have many. So I think this will add the zhuzh that you needed. You know, you didn't think you needed the zhuzh, zhuzh. but this is the zhuzh. <laughs> yeah. It's a certain je ne sais quoi. It is a je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Gina, you have a, a couple of facial expressions as well. So I'm really excited for the people to see that as well. Also, Gia Peppers in her part-time life is also a stand-up comedian. So look out for that. That'll probably come up here and there. So just be ready for that. Please. Mm -hmm. Wow, the pressure now. Thank you for doing that, because now they're going to be like, say something funny. <laughs> <laughs> On command. Right. <laughs> I'm like, 
I ain't no Tiffany Hatch. I ain't no Kevin Hart out here. Well, never mind. I ain't no Regina Hall out here. Okay, look. Okay, look. So, but you know, what? one of my favorite things about talking to and journeying through life with you guys is that we really have an audio diary that we can share with our family, our friends, like everything we say, like our grandkids could listen to it in like 25 years, which is fire, but also very crazy, scary, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think it's also cool because we've lived through at this point an unprecedented year. 2020 is literally gonna be like before Corona and after Corona, like our lives, you know what I'm saying? It, it was like such a monumental, unprecedented, frightening, scary, overwhelming year. Uh, I think that is super important and perfect that we have the opportunity to have this like time capsule for this series as well. So again, our grandkids or whoever's watching this, even when we want to watch it again, we can be like, girl, why'd I do all that? <laughs> but it's funny because we still have it from 2020, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I think that it's the perfect way to like, hopefully um, come out of such a crazy time. Ooh. Such a crazy time is right. Right. Like, how did we make it through this year? <laughs> it's so insane because how did we even start four years ago? We're not even the same people today that we were just four years ago. Okay. Uh, four years ago. okay. The growth. <laughs> the growth. I mean, just to commemorate where we are right now, I mean, what's something that each of us can say about who we were then to who we are today? Oh, child. Bex with the questions. Of course. Are you kidding? This always is a 400 years later. <laughs> no, 400. 400 days later. <laughs> definitely the biggest change with me from four years ago is that I have definitely invited more vulnerability into my life and it has served me very well. So I'm happy that that's the biggest change in me because from that, a lot of things have come. A lot of things have gone as well. But I think just in choosing vulnerability, it's always been for the best. So I think that choice for me and that change for me has been really great. That's beautiful. That was beautiful. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Go ahead, Safar. I think for me, it's the weight. And that is in a literal sense. Yes. And also in a mental sense, it's yes. the weight. Talk about it. But let me tell you about the weight, because y'all know I was preaching the other day. But no, seriously. <laughs> It's the weight. It's so much that has come off of me, not just the pounds, but so much that I have released. And I feel so, so good. Even through this pandemic. I agree. I'm still thinking, but the first thing coming up to me is pouring into my own glass. That is something that I never did for tink, myself. Tink. And I have been very intentional, especially through this entire pandemic since the beginning of March with really dedicating intentionality into myself and pouring self-love into myself because I would give, 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 give <laughs> to everyone else but myself. So I think 2020 in just the last four yes, four years, yes, I have been able to, you know, carefully take those steps, but the last couple of months, the, the entire 2020 has just been me giving back to myself. And it actually feels really amazing. I wasn't expecting the loving of myself to really change who I am. And I feel it, I feel her. Hmm. All that I always talk about in the episodes, the podcast, she's coming out and I love that, I really do. Yes, Diana Ross coming mm -hmm. out. Hey, 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 hey. You know, <laughs> giving Janet Diana. I could do it a little, you know, bounce. <laughs> Period. It's good. It's a good pony. Thank you. Scott Tisha. I would say of uh, finding space for happiness. Um, I think four years ago, we're talking about four years ago, right? Yes. Four weeks. Um, I was a hot, hot head, extremely hot on the run. I'm I'm still a little a lukewarm, still a little warm, but I am learning to let go and forgive people who haven't forgave themselves. Ooh, so I um, or or forgive people who don't know the the trauma they've caused. Mm. Um, you know, you don't need closure. Mm -hmm. You know, 
uh, you can do this yourself. So okay. I've been, you know, working on that for four years. Um, it's not complete. I am still flawed, completely flawed, but I feel like I've gotten better as a human being, as an individual with just forgiving myself and forgiving others uh, and letting that go. Yes, stuff is going to be hard. I don't know if we can curse on here or not. I totally forgot, but y'all know, if y'all listen to Black Girl Podcast, it's gonna be very hard for me. But um, I, um, I, I do know that I am, a, I'm trying. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I'm trying. So yeah. So right. <laughs> That's it. In the most so right. Thank you. That's right. Try. Trying. Ah. Wow. That was beautiful. Woo. I that is such a hard and layered answer question to answer. I think that if anything, like Leash was saying, like I'm giving myself back to myself. Um, it's been a very tough journey. These last four years have been beautiful and tough and all, all encompassing and 2020 alone has been all of that times four. So we really have been living for about 20 years on the podcast, Yo. 16, 20 years. <laughs> Just go there. Um, because, you know, it just feels like we've gone through so much together individually, uh, spiritually, mentally, physically, um, we are not the same people and it's beautiful to see. And I think for me, I would say I'm a bit more comfortable with my womanness. I'm getting more comfortable with me being a full human being, a woman, um, a young woman. Well, I guess, no, I'm still young. A young Girl. woman. Um, a, yes, you are. <laughs> a, um, well, you know how you, you know how you get in your head at 30 and then you're still young. I'm, I'm working through it, child. I'm that. working through it. Can you be grown and a young woman? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I'm a yes. grown young woman. Listen, I'm going to be a young woman until I'm about 65. So y'all can do what y'all want to do. I'm going to be young for the rest of my life. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's what my mom says all the time. She always tells me, like, Gia, you're getting older, but I'm getting younger. So calm it down. Um, and so, but I will say, <laughs> I will say, um, for me, I have really understood that perfectionism doesn't do anything but cover up things that you're afraid for people to see. Mm -hmm. And so I think for so long, every single, like, um, every single thing I did, I wanted to be perfect. I wanted it to be something where it was like, I can't do it unless it looks like this, this and that. And I'm learning now that. I'd rather just do it and learn along the way and get better with time than not doing anything at all because I'm so afraid of not being perfect. And so um, I've, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. But I think for the biggest thing, the biggest thing is perfectionism isn't real. And, you know, what's for me is going to be for me, whether I'm a perfect human being or not. Um, and so, yeah, just giving myself that grace to be has been, I think, my biggest thing but i'm still learning like my i'm still learning so y'all gonna get the joneses from time That's to time so and we've all seen each other throughout these four years too and i have to agree with you ga because if i had to say like what's the biggest difference in you it's you in that process of letting go and not like focusing on the perfection because you 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 got drive you got drive you play how you want it but it's like in every scenario that's not necessarily the best course of action and i see that you're letting go and allowing that to be like part of your life now and just living just living to live and enjoy yeah. the flaws enjoying the perfection enjoying the happiness enjoying the hurt everything that comes with it so i do agree with that that if if we all were to say something like of course if we all were to say something about each other that we've seen as the biggest difference if we haven't said it already do you think we could do that like have we all like hmm. That would be so beautiful. Oh, yes. No, I'm, I'm serious because we yeah. all see ourselves as ourselves, but then it's interesting always to see how other people see us. Because, like, we're not qualifying things that people see in us that are also beautiful. So it's like, maybe we can piggyback. Diani, for sure, child, you still on Sim, but you have definitely turned out me. You turned out here, but you on Sim still. You still got that fire. So I would definitely agree with what you said, too. That's deep. Y'all gonna make y'all gonna make me cry on the first episode. Like, the cry. Excuse me, what? 
<laughs> I ain't crying on camera. <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like I, I feel like we have done a lot of protecting of ourselves, of our brand, of this podcast, of our own personal experiences and brands. And I think um, this is a conversation that we talk about all of 2020, I feel like, which is protecting Black women. But I think we've Outside of us, you know, outside in the spaces where we talk about the Megan the Stallions, the Stacey Abrams and whomever else, we have been doing a really intentional job individually protecting ourselves from anything disturbing our peace. And I think to just piggyback off of what you're saying, Rebecca, because we've been doing that, you can clearly see the growth within all of us. Yeah. And I, I, I would have to retweet and say that that's the most beautiful thing about this stillness within this quarantine is that we're able to do that and we're able to grow and hurt and feel and cry and be happy and love, be loved, love back, be angry, be sad and, you know, shed things, re, uh, receive things. And I think because of those experiences, especially within the last four years, huge changes in our lives from either working at one place or quitting a job that they, you know, a dream job D, you know, and, and betting on yourself or just, you know, I don't know, just the experiences. I'm just thinking. But about I think also we owe it to the fans transparently to acknowledge that through these last four years and even through this pandemic, what has kept us collectively glued together is this podcast and the fact that we can pour into yes. each other whenever we record okay. because our lives be so hectic that we don't speak to each other on a regular basis. When Rebecca was on the campaign, we didn't speak to her at all. I spoke to Bex on Instagram probably. When D is doing <laughs> shoots back to back, Mm -hmm. And you're like, hey, why isn't this girl answering the text? When G <laughs> like, and I mean, not to be so, no, F it, to be so transparent. Cause like, hey, these are our lives. Gia yeah. is doing, hello, have y'all seen my girl on ET? Like, okay. hello. <laughs> like, I just can't get over that. I mean, we have an ET host on here. We have a video yeah. vixen on here. Uh, Not Grammy a video nominated vixen. No. video vixen or I mean like I mean it, it is definitely Grammy it nominated. Grammy nominated. And I am I am two. two. This is my second Grammy Come nomination oh. because the first one was BJ the Chicago Come. Kid. The oh, second yeah. one is Scotty Come. Beam by Freddie Come. Gibbs on the album Come. that is nominated for a Grammy. I'm just so saying. I'd like to point out. Um, we are the cream of the crop. Two Grammy. Alicia be shooting. Two in, Grammy uh, nominated. If the pandemic wasn't happening, Alicia <laughs> would be in a different state shooting every other month. And myself, if y'all don't know, I have a dance studio down V block from my home. It gets real. I'm in there. It gets real with us. I'd like to point out, because everybody asks all the time on a DM if we speak like friends when this mic is off. Ciao. And I had to tell somebody that literally we spent 10 hours. Y'all remember I when remember. we was on I remember. video? It didn't really we were supposed to do a quick interview and be out. Ten. We sat and talked to each other for 10 whole ass hours. It didn't make sense. Day. Right. This is during the whole day. pandemic, by the way. Yeah. This is during pandemic. We sat at home and talked. We even had our boyfriends coming in to talk and they had their own discussions. It was a long <laughs> But it's, it's a friendship. It really is a sisterhood. Yes. And people think this is like a business thing. No, it's business, yes. But this is sisterhood. It it's found founded from sisterhood, you know? And I think that's why we wanted to do it because we wanted to give it off to somebody else so that somebody else can hear and feel seen and feel like, you know, they're not alone, that they have a group of five women who understand them. You know, even if we don't know, you do understand that we are living somewhat of the same lives. Same. You know, um, so I, I think it's incredible, you know, to have this platform to do what we do because truly, you know, the listeners are helping us as we're helping them. Mm -hmm. You know, we're feeding each other. And I think that's the greatest gift. It's the biggest hip-hop Harry show 
ever. Go, go, go. I can't. Go, go, no, go, I go, can't. Go. Who's next? Won't. Sorry. Stop. I think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Luxury. I think what, first of all, that was like so perfect. Cut that clip. Um, I think <laughs> that at the, at the end of the day, like, I think the coolest part is like, I can see how all of us have rubbed up on and changed each other mm -hmm. from just being around each other for the last four years. Like we all stand up for ourselves more because D is like, you ain't, don't be dumb. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> we need that sometimes. We all dance a little bit more freely because mm -hmm. staff is like, woo child, let me Ooh, get you mm -hmm. Like we all figured out that how important therapy was from watching Leash literally learn how to pour into her her best self. Yes. Like she took the cup back from everybody and was like, yeah, I'm good. Hold up. Let me, I got some things to do. <laughs> we seen Bex go from Blivik Daria to That's being right. the person, one of the people that I love to meditate and talk about like prayer and major moments, yeah. you know, from, from like spirituality. Like now your whole thing is different. Like I remember Bex came on this podcast and was like, I don't even know why you guys are happy. Um, happiness, <laughs> like <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. I don't even like you all. Yo, and now she's oh, like, that is crazy. Boy. The connection between, and then when you went to that moment, and you're like, who did that? Feeling oh. everything. She's feeling, feeling everything. everything. Growth. <laughs> right. Because even know, the name Blue Vic I sounds numbing. <laughs> Blue yes. Victoria sounds yes. like a number. A number. It sounds like a pill. So I thank God for it because people, <laughs> no one understands this walk of life like we can understand it for each other. Yeah. Um, working in entertainment, working behind the scenes, working on camera, working on the mic, like we can be like crawl. Literally, me and Dee was on a call last night talking about some things that only she and I will understand. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like at the end of the day, you just have to. I am just so thankful for each of you and that you all exist and that God put each of you in my life. Like, seriously. Ditto. And it does feel good to have to channel each of you when mm -hmm. necessary, okay? It's true. I'm not going to hold you. It feels really good. Like, hmm. who am okay. I today? <laughs> who am I today? Who's showing up right now in this moment? You know, I will, I will say this. Diani, and I said this at your birthday. I didn't get it. I didn't get, I didn't get why we would always do this. And going through therapy, I want to say this last year and coming back from Ghana, I learned a lot about you, which taught me a lot about myself, which allowed me to apply some of the fight, child, the fight that you, it's so crazy that you tur you're turning down your fight and I'm turning, like I'm turning mine up. So that's the balance right. I think is, so beautiful in just all of us being able to, like you said, Gia, just being able to, and Safira, just being able to Damn. find things and nuances that we seem that not necessarily lack, because I don't want to say, but we need to fill up and pour into more um, within each other and be able to confidently exude that energy. So it's it's just, it's beautiful. We all like my therapist said, like, my it's not anger, it's passion, you know? <laughs> It's not anger, it's passion, but it's all like Safira said, how we channel it. Yeah. I, I'm learning through, you know, with you for different ways how to channel my passion other than just screaming about it and being upset and, you know, feeling everything because I will feel all the things. You know, from with Bex, I've learned how to turn down the feeling just a little bit, <laughs> you know, and, and actually process it though because she's been one to process mentally. And I don't give myself that time. I sit and I, I react. I'm e it's easy. You, I do one thing, I'm going to react in the next minute. But I learned from Bex that I am allowed time to sit and think with my thoughts. And then I'm going to tell you how I'm going to react. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to react. And it's a bit better. Right, see, that's what it gets because... crazy right there. I'm going to show you how my... <laughs> That's where it gets a little crazy. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to act. That's what it's no, I'm going to show you. No, but I'm going to show you in a better way than I would have four years ago because had I shown your ass four years ago. So here it is. There She's it is. 
It's toned I'll be down. I on Channel Nine News. It's, yes. it's come down, child. She not flying it's through doors down. no more. You no. know, doors, doors and digital used to fly open. Oh, <laughs> what? No, they did happen, <laughs> y'all. God damn it! I was passionate. I'm very passionate. I knew, you know, and that's another thing we talk about on here too is career. I had a vision for myself that nobody could see. And I'm never, I honestly, I wish somebody would say, I always knew that you, you didn't know nothing. I wish someone I would. <laughs> myself. Not none of y'all, nobody saw it in me, but me. But probably my mom. But even when I dropped out of school, she was like, sis, I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's what, you know, this, this conversation will be about too. I think one of our episodes will be about career. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's very important for us to talk about that because we don't have a lot of platforms that talk about black women in, careers. in professional spaces and also careers, mm -hmm. even though everything should be a professional space. But, but cool. Deanna, yeah. you were even mentioning in our group chat the other day, just, you know, black women in front of the camera, especially darker skinned women. I don't care what people say, it's 2020, this 2020 and colorism is doing the heel toe heavily <laughs> together. So Not until so, please. we can figure it out, we're gonna continue to talk about yep. it. Absolutely. This has been great guys. Yeah. I think we did I think we did well. I think we did a good job. We have a show. First episode. We have a show. Can you believe that? <laughs> <Hail toe. laughs> I know. Now, do we want to give the sponsors what we have oh, yes. going on? Yeah, I was about to say, we hello. We do. we do. Look at the situations going on in your homes. I mean, oh. Safira, show us off. Well, us. I'm just living in the lap of luxury over here. You know, I had a nice setup. Uh, well, honestly, it pays actually to really, really invest in your community, invest in the people that you know, and especially your loved ones. So I would love, I would love to shout out Crack Flower NYC, who provided these beautiful roses on my lovely couch, adorning, yes, as you'll see in Rebecca and Gia's ensembles as well. And I also have a beautiful painting in the back of me. It's Pearl Primus. <laughs> And I'll be giving you the name of that soon. And shout out to Signature Petals Co. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see this? You're giving us info. Yes. One of my favorite colors, lavender. You thought it was going to be purple, but it was lavender. <laughs> uh, absolutely. And uh, yes, it's important that we uplift all black businesses, make sure they stay in the black. You know, make sure that the, the money keeps going, that we keep the money in the black community. You know, I know we love to shop other places, but you know, it's our responsibility now. Y'all have been smelling this candle for the last 20 minutes because it is my favorite. Hustle by Lit Brooklyn, AKA D Will, AKA the illest, the illest candle maker out here um, is my favorite. Every time I light it up, it's not lit up right now because I don't want to burn myself. But every time I light it up, I feel like a hustler. Like I'm just from Brooklyn all of a sudden. All of a sudden I'm outside on the block and I'm just talking. You feel me? Like I'm a hustler as soon as that happens. You feel me? So if you want a hustle hoarder too, get you to hustle. I'm not going, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's the best one. Everyone else has their favorite candles, but listen, we know what the best candle is. Right? We know what the best lit Brooklyn candle is. So we don't need to debate. It's clearly a debate. <laughs> It's clearly Muse, but all right. <laughs> it wasn't her. Okay, it wasn't her. Lies, hustle. It's her. Are, it's, are it's, 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 it's all that up. girl. You hear me? It's all up. Hello. Trust. Hello. She might be that girl, but let me tell I'll you who the man up. is. Don't, <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> the man. But if you want to go to the beach, you want to get Irie. Go get you some Irie, okay? Yo. All good. That's right. Okay. Clink, clink. Thank clink, you, Daniqua, clink. AKA Lip Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Come out. Don't break that damn Thank you, Daniqua. <laughs> <laughs>
a change makers made my Stevie behind me that I you will always see Stevie with me always. Um, so yes, all the black owned businesses that we can pour into, let's just give the coin. We got the coin clearly, so let's give the coin. <laughs> Get the coin. Wait, we should also shout out. Yeah, because I spent that coin on some really nice art behind me. This Come is a black on, Bex. This is a black woman artist. Her name is Monday, and she creates this. I'm going to try to invest this. Yes, yeah, give us that nice pan. Okay. Yes. Beautiful Wow. I found her on Etsy, y'all. Yeah, y'all, please patron Etsy, because you will find some incredible black art on Etsy. And yes. of course, that are just oh, child. Living. Created and given. I love yes. that piece. I wanted that piece for so long. So I'm happy it's in my house now. Yay. Yes, yes. We were super intentional. And Rebecca, this was actually your idea. I don't even know if you remembered saying that um, when we were walking through the studio, saying that we wanted to build our set with black owned brands. So we um, were we made sure that even though we are not able to be in studio, that we could bring it right into our home. So like Diani, I want to shout out Signature Petals and Company, who was able to get me my beautiful Birds of Paradise. Yes. Fresh out. She's tall. She is tall. She's probably about eight feet. Um, and then I have. You need to move that bad boy closer to me. I mean, so that you can get the jungle feel. Let me <laughs> let me get the leaf over you. I got you in the next. I got you in the next. Let episode. me get that bird. Yes, my beautiful right Cassandra Cast Twins on Instagram, who is an event planner, floral arranger, was able to help me get my home nice and warm and homey. And also with my flowers and her candle back there as well, next to my self love is the best love message to myself, as well as my lit Brooklyn candle which I got the willow, I got the willow um, scent, which I feel ties me to Daniqua because that one is in reference to her father. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my, my vibe. And then the new black with his very abstract art has been able to create the pieces you've seen behind me because I actually found out that I like abstract art. I okay. like my lines. Wow. Yeah, so I was able to do that. Is that everybody? Yeah, I think that's everybody. And my art is by Don't Sleep Interiors. It is a portrait of the Pearl Primus, okay? I pride myself on the art that I have in here. It's going to be walls full of black women. Amen. Bex and Diani have already <laughs> hooked me up with some pieces. And I'm also burning that good old lit Brooklyn. My fave <laughs> is Joy. <laughs> Thanks, D. Aww. I know, I know that we went through this already, y'all. I know we mentioned our backgrounds, but I just want y'all to get into this. Yeah, <laughs> child, that is a piece. Happy with what she did. Crack Flower also did this arrangement. I just told her colors, I told her roses, and these are called. <laughs> oh, oh, um, wait, I know, I know. It's like a bird. I know. No, it's like arrogant yeah. petal or something like that. I'm, I'm completely. No, no it's I not. No, arrogant petal. It's with a pea. Like, pop us. Pop, pop. Oh, it's face kind of plant. Damn, I really, I'll get the name for you. I'm so Whatever sorry. Whatever it is, is giving yeah, me yeah. jump over the broom vibes, and I love it. Yes, I, yes. I said, oh, are we are we married? Right. Okay. I, I'm feeling it. It's giving me <laughs> some, you know, doom, 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 doom. Where is the broom? And a little She's actually a fashion designer. So she went to FIT and then now she's gotten herself into like floral arrangements. And it just shows you that like once you're creative, it really don't matter where you place it. Ooh. Well, manifest itself. So. Campus. It great. Campus. I wanted to make sure that I put this up in the front because <laughs> I want you to get into my jungle. I see it. It's a jungle in the Thank you eyes. very much. It's my jungle. And I said, you know, the wall behind me is always going to be orange. So give me some orange roses and some jungle. Mm -hmm. I wanted the jungle in my home. And she delivered. Well, I guess I was a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> honey, honey said she wanted to live in the roses. Just let me live. You need to have a whole photo shoot of that. Just saying. No, for real. Seriously. It's gorgeous. Seriously. We have been super intentional with our blackness from our set to our podcast to who we are. We have just been showing up in the black. That is what we know. That is what we do. That is what we are proud of. That is who we are. 
Oh, yes, Safira, you better be on it with me. <laughs> it's the, it's the je ne sais quoi, it's the... It is, it is. I'll take it. Y'all, we finally did it. Our first video episode. We have arrived. We are here. We are here. I'm Alicia P. I'm Scotty Beam. I am Bex. I'm Safira M. And I'm Gia Peppers. We want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to our first episode of In the Know and Black Girl Pod Presents. Enter the chat. If you want to purchase any of the things that you saw on our living room sets, all of the Black-owned businesses will be linked on inthenow.com. And also, you can get more exclusive content from us on there as well. And if you're not already subscribed to Black Girl Podcast on all streaming platforms, please make sure that you're subscribing to our channel and following us on all socials at Black Girl Pod. We'll see you guys next time.